I forgot to post again on LinkedIn. Okay, it's end of day, but that's okay. I think I can still get it in. I'll just post something, anything. It doesn't really matter, right? Wrong. Does posting to LinkedIn always fall to the bottom of your to-do list? Well, today I am going to show you a really easy LinkedIn content planning system that is going to not only ensure that you've got that f content full of uh, a month full of worth of content, but you are actually posting the right content that is going to attract leads to you. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Charlene Tessier, and I'm helping business coaches to get more leads on LinkedIn. Every week I create new videos, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, bell notification, and follow me on LinkedIn so that you don't miss any of my new content. And make sure you stay right to the end because I am going to show you my full step-by-step -step system that's only going to take 15 minutes. You can even hand it off to your VA. And to make it even easier, I'm going to give you my free plug and play LinkedIn content planner so you can do this today. So make sure you stay to the end to grab that. So let's first get started with how much time are you currently spending on LinkedIn posting? Are you spending an hour, 15 minutes, uh, I don't know, a few days? I kind of forgot myself because I've been doing this sort of shortcutted system for quite a while. So I was wondering what's kind of the average for people to create, spend time creating content. And so I went to my handy friend, Google search, and I searched how long to create LinkedIn content to create a LinkedIn content calendar. And the first thing that comes up right under here, uh, you know, that I love these shortcut answers is it takes about a week to complete a full month of content. Whoa, I don't know about you, but I can't spend one week just making content for the next 30 days. No, I've got so much stuff to do. I've got a lot on my plate as an entrepreneur and I understand and feel your pain. But the biggest mistake that most coaches make when using LinkedIn as a way to drive in leads is they essentially post in a very haphazardous way. They are just posting on the fly. They have forgotten to do it. They just post up whatever they can and then they're wondering, you know what, this doesn't work. I'm not getting any leads. And that's because you're not posting the right content for your particular um, niche and for your potential client. And I know creating original content takes a lot of time. And so you're like, well, how am I gonna have time to do this? And I'm gonna show you how you can actually do this in a matter of minutes or even hand this off. So my very first hack is to use a plug and play system. And I'm not talking about those content calendars that you see where it's Tuesday, post a tip. Wednesday post, I don't know, your thoughts. No, that doesn't really work and it doesn't work for me. So this system I'm gonna show you is going to work and it's going to be very easy. And most importantly, it's actually gonna attract clients to you. Now, first, one of the questions I often get from business coaches is, how often should I post on LinkedIn? How many days a week? Um, uh, how, what is the best time of the day? How many times per day? And I thought, you know what? Let's go straight to the source. Yes, there is a source. Let's go there and see. LinkedIn, I'll just go, I'll go right back up here, sorry, has actually best practices for posting for us content creators. And so if this is what LinkedIn is telling us, this is what they want. And so if we give them what they want, in theory, that is going to, of course, make the algorithm happy, but of course, make us happy because we are going to get more reach and get more clients. Now, there's a lot of things in here and we're gonna just look at the most key things. The first thing they have, let's see if I can line that up for you, is they want you to mix it up. So they want you to diversify content types so that you can get more engagement. So if you are heavy with text-based posting only or um, 
um, if you're only video, right, try to do a little bit of a mix. That's actually going to perform better. The next thing that they want, which was really, really interesting, and something that many of us miss, is they want you to post consistently. And if you're just getting started, try posting a few times a week. Okay, so that's very interesting there. They said you want you to post a few times a week. So unlike other social platforms, LinkedIn loves quality posts over quantity. So you really want to create quality content and therefore you can reduce the volume and just you know, post the consistently. That is more important than putting up something just randomly whenever you want or something that's just not very good. So how many days a week or how many times a day even? I wouldn't post more than once a day. Uh, once a day, quality post is enough. How many times a week? I would go for three times a week. And then in this example that I'm going to show you, we're going to do three days. And the reason is because that is actually very sustainable. I'm going to show you how to do it in a super sustainable way. Um, if you are completely new at this and you're not sure three sounds like really overwhelming, do one day. Commit to one day. And if you can commit to the same day and same time, you'll actually notice that the reach will be greater. Um, so we're going to do three days now. I'm going to just give you a little caveat here. Some people is like, I want to do five days. Hey, I want to do five days. And I have tried to do five days. And I'm going to be honest, even for me, five days is a stretch. It is a little bit tough. I really got to pre-plan. And if I only pre-plan 30 days, it's actually not enough if I'm going to pump it out five days a week. So if you really want to do five days, you got to map out a minimum of two to three months, I would say. That is the only way to keep that going because you want to be consistent. You don't want to post and then five days next week and post zero and then the next week post one. Like that's very inconsistent. It's better to actually do less and so I hold to the three days. I'm able to maintain that for months on end. That's easy peasy for me. If you can only do one, then do one and maintain that. But consistent, that is really what LinkedIn wants. Um, if what I'm going to show you today, you can do three days. It's going to create, we're going to create at least 30 days worth of content easily, maybe even a little bit more. And you're going to see how easy that is. So our second hack is now we're going to start getting into the system is the first thing I want you to do is get some leads while you sleep because posting on LinkedIn can feel like a lot of work. And this one post you should do every single week is so easy and it actually gets you leads when you sleep. So we're going to get into our little content planner here. We've got our five days. And what I would like you to do on Monday is to give a gift. I'm sure you have a free gift somewhere that you are giving out uh, to partners on your website, on, you know, posts or whatever. Post your gift. Post it every Monday. If you have some time or even if you don't have some time, get your VA to do this. Just write two to three sentences to hook people, write two or three variations of that. Um, I actually have, I think, three variations and I just rotate them and every Monday that comes out like clockwork. And why? Because I am going to get more leads by just people seeing that free gift. I'm giving something of value, right? And so that is super easy. You've already got that in your toolbox. Wait a second. Maybe you don't have that in your toolbox. Maybe you feel you don't have a high converting gift or your gift isn't very good or you don't have a gift. Don't worry. I really love this because on LinkedIn, because I'm posting that gift every week, I am able to really improve it. And so put up the gift, even if it's not perfect, even if it's not that good, because let it run. Let it run and see what happens. And then after four weeks, change the title. Let it run again for four weeks. Then change maybe a few bullet points. Four more weeks. Then change the image. 
four more weeks and you're going to start seeing that gift performing really well and it is a great way to not only stress test your gift but to build a gift that's going to be a high converting gift because really it's all about people seeing it getting people to click it and watching those views on the page so even if you don't have a gift spend 30 minutes seriously make it really really quick don't spend hours making the perfect gift it's never going to be perfect just make any gift as long as it gives the thing that's supposed to give and adds them to your email list that is a good gift and then let it roll that is actually the best way so our first day we've got covered we've got our free gift yay and now we're on to our third hack which is i want you to stop creating new content okay let's get be honest time now i am i'm guilty of this i love making new stuff i love shiny new objects i'm not gonna lie and i'm not saying you can't make new stuff because you can but to ensure that you consistently post three times a week you probably don't need to create anything new i bet you you've got an enormous enormous arsenal of stuff that you can start using today and your VA can pull it for you and get it up. So what should they pull? Well, let's take a quick look at that. Let me grab my slide again and go to the next one. Weekly, past weekly emails. I bet you've got tons of past weekly emails. How about images or posts from other social platforms that performed really well? Those are also excellent content. Um, have you been a guest on any podcasts, live streams? I bet you have. Maybe you've created some past live streams or video content that you streamed into your YouTube channel. That is also excellent to be used. Maybe you can use some past posts on LinkedIn that didn't perform well. Yes, you heard me right. I want ones that didn't perform well. And this is another little tip is that it's a really easy and much quicker to improve upon a post that didn't perform well and make it a little bit better. Just work on that hook for two, three, five minutes and repost it than to come up with something always brand, brand new. And this is kind of one of the mistakes that I see many, many entrepreneurs who are content creators as well or using content to drive in leads is that they are always going to the next thing and next thing and new and new and new and they don't really use what they already have and maximize it you can really maximize your content and all of the stuff i just showed you that whole list that's your original content that is you and that belongs to you so for this um Example, back to our plug and play system, we've got uh, the third, second day, sorry, Wednesday. What are we going to do? We are going to, we got our gift on the first day, use a past email. So if you've got a list and you are creating, um, of course, weekly emails for your list, usually those emails are excellent, excellent, excellent. Why? Because they're usually fairly long and you can splice them up into two or three or four posts because they're fairly long. Uh, the other reason is those emails, you are writing to your very warm audience. So you have a lot of your personality, you're giving a lot of amazing value, you're giving kind of your best stuff, aren't you? So give your best stuff, splice it up, and post it onto LinkedIn on Wednesdays. Again, if you don't have time, who can do it for you? Your virtual assistant can splice it up. It's your voice. You wrote it. So let them splice it up. You check the draft, schedule it out, and boom, it's ready. Wait a second. You're wondering about scheduling? Did you know LinkedIn has a new feature that you can schedule directly into LinkedIn? And if you want to know how to do that, I am, well, move my little hand there. There we go. That's where you're going to be able to get the video on how to schedule a post directly right in LinkedIn without using third-party software like Buffer or Hootsuite. Uh, so we've got two now. We got one more to go. What's our third one, right? What else can we do? On Friday, there are many different things you can do. 
Uh, one of the things you can do is, of course, put new content if you want. Um, you could live stream. That's what I like to do. Uh, or put a video. Uh, that's kind of my jam. May not be your jam. What I'm going to share with you today, though, is something called OPA. Getting into other people's audiences. OPA. And this is a fairly underused kind of hack or tip. And I think it's really great because that's what we want. It's not only are we posting on LinkedIn and of course our followers are going to see it and our connections will see it and we'll get some engagement. Okay, yes, great. But we really want reach. We really want to reach other people's audiences, new people to discover us and to find us on LinkedIn. And a really easy way to do this is to use those um, guest interviews that you were on. Were you on somebody's guest podcast? Maybe on somebody's guest live stream? And I'm pretty sure the day that they released it, they sent you a little email with a little image and a, maybe even a little bit of text that you could share to your audience. And you shared that. That was great. And of course, they shared it to their audience. But that was months ago. Why not post it again and tag them? Tag that host who interviewed you. And they are going to be so delighted. They are going to see that on their LinkedIn notifications. That, hey, Charlene tagged me and reposted my podcast. Oh my gosh, that's so great. I want to reciprocate. What am I going to do? I'm going to either repost what I just, what Charlene just posted. I might uh, respond as well and get more reach. And of course, probably reshow that on my own. That's the reshare or the repost of my own because I want more people to see my, my podcast, right? And I want my guests to get more reach and their audience gets yet another hit of exposure uh, from you. And that's really easy to do and it's not a lot of work. And you can also, if you don't have, you know, guesting, that's a little bit of some people's concern. Then if you are posting on other social platforms, another tip is to use those. If you're posting on Facebook and Instagram again, try and repurpose them and put those on the Friday. So you don't have to keep coming up with brand new stuff. Now I know what you want. You want the gift. You want the free thing that I'm going to give you because it's going to shortcut you and it's going to be set up in a way that you can even just hand this video and this free gift over to uh, your virtual assistant. I am in the process of making it right now, so it is not quite ready, but it will be ready very, very soon. I'm fingers crossed by next week. Uh, it's almost done, so let me know in the comments. Just drop it down and say, give me my free gift, and I will be sure to send you the link right away. So let me know in the comments that you want it, and I will be sure to send that to you. Well, till next time, I'll see you then.